Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking a look at formatting in HTML. We'll go through some basic HTML elements used for formatting an HTML document. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, Let's get started. Before we move on and discuss the different formatting tags in HTML, let's understand what formatting is. Formatting refers to the process of making the text present on a web page more appealing to the user. For example, let's say we want to add a heading in our HTML document and for that we want a specific font size. Let's say we want to add a heading with a bigger font size. For this purpose, we have the heading tag present in HTML which provides us with six different font sizes with h1 being the tag with the greatest font size and h6 with the smallest one we have already discussed in in the previous videos as well now we need to make sure which font size we want and we can use the heading tag accordingly let's understand this with the help of an example let's suppose we are working on a web page wherein we want a heading so let's say the heading is what is html we want the font size to be bigger so simply we'll write here h1 we have already mentioned it that h1 has the biggest font size of all the six heading tags right so inside this we'll write what is html so let's suppose this is the heading now on saving the program you can see here on the browser that we have a heading with larger font size so what we can do for now is we'll remove this heading from here now save it and you can see we have only one heading as of now we have the heading as what is html we can also write a paragraph after this heading tag that will explain what html is using the paragraph tag. so let's do it over here as well and you guys will understand it much better so here we are going to use the break element so this is basically an empty element used in html for line break so what we are going to do is we are going to put it over here so this is the tag br tag or break tag we can see now what we are going to do is we are going to write here inside the paragraph tag html stands for let's write it in capitals we'll write here hypertext markup language fine so here we have paragraph that says html stands for hypertext markup language now what we want to do is we want to add another heading to this web page which will define the uses of html so basically what we are doing is we are going through the sizes of heading tags so we want another heading let's say over here now the main heading of our web page was what is html and we want it to stand out among all the headings present in our web page that's why we use the h1 tag for that heading now for the next heading or for the new heading we'll have a little bit smaller size than the main heading. so what we are going to do is we are going to use the h2 tag or the h3 tag for that so let's use the h3 tag for now we'll write over here h3 so basically we are going to write it after a br tag so we are going to use the br tag over here or the break tag we can say now we are going to write here uses of html fine now save the program and you guys can clearly see the difference in font size of both the headings. Let me zoom in a bit here in the browser. So now you guys can see it much better. The there's a difference in the size of heading 1 and heading 3. Right. So this difference is what we are talking about. Till now. There are 6 different sizes for a heading tag in HTML. We can use any of these heading tags according to our need. Figure out which one of these six tags is best suitable for your web page and use them. Simple and easy. Let's move ahead and we'll now discuss some more formatting tags present in HTML. Let's move ahead and we'll now discuss some more formatting tags present in HTML. The next tag we are going to discuss is the bold tag. This tag is used to make the text bold or strong. So there are two different tags for the same task for making the text bold. We can either use the bold tag or simple b tag we can say. The other tag we can use is the strong tag. The functionality of both tags is similar. So we'll use them side by side so that you guys can see the difference or they are basically same. So what we are going to do is we are going to write here after this br tag. 
we are going to write here b so b stand for bold text now we are going to write something in here so let's say we are writing over here html now again after br tag we are going to use the strong tag fine we'll write same thing here the content will remain the same so we are going to write html over here now here we used both tags with similar content present inside the save the program and you can see we have two similar outputs here on our web page the outputs are exactly similar the working of both the tags is the same right now let's recall the nesting of elements in html from the previous video we have said earlier that we can use an element within another element in html we are going to nest this bold tag inside our first paragraph tag it means that we are going to nest this bold tag over here so what we are going to do is we are going to use bold tag inside the full form or we are going to put the full form of html inside the bold tag fine so save it and you can see we have hypertext markup language written over here in the browser in bold right it looks better than the previous one just like the bold tag we have two more tags present in html to make the text on screen look more appealing to the user the italic tag and the underlined tag now you guys must be thinking that these three formatting techniques are also present in microsoft word you are right these three tags are present in both ms word and html the working is also same so let's use these tags here once what we are going to do is we are going to use these tags over here on so we are going to put this hypertext markup language inside three different tags so we are going to put them inside italic we are going to put them inside bold and we are going to put them inside underline as well so we are going to do this over here now you can see the nesting of elements over here if i zoom in a bit on visual studio code you can see we have a paragraph tag then we have three tags present inside it so we have bold tag we have italic and underline so this is called nesting of elements now save this program and you can see the text over here we have hypertext markup language in italics it is underlined and it is bold in nature right the next tag we are going to use is the delete tag we have two different tags present for this task as well let's say we want to put a line through the center of any text crossing it out basically let's say that this text is not relevant fine so let's go through an example first what we are going to do is we are going to use the break tag over here and now after this break tag we are going to use a paragraph tag we are going to write a paragraph so let's say we'll write here i would like to have a cup of okay cup of coffee fine save it and you can see we have this paragraph or sentence over here on the browser now what we want is we want to delete this particular word or we can say we want to put a line through it fine so what we are going to do is we are going to write here strike fine we are going to put coffee inside this strike tag because we want this particular word to cut and then let's say we are writing over here t fine so save it now and you can see it over here it says i would like to have a cup of coffee has a line over it and then we have written t so you guys can understand the meaning of this sentence by yourself i guess you can use this tag anywhere according to our needs we can achieve this same thing with the help of the delete tag as well what we have to do is we have to write here in place of strike what we are going to do is we are going to copy this piece of code from here we are going to paste it here now instead of strike we are going to write here delete so d e l this is the tag and we are going to close this tag as well now we are going to write coffee inside it and save the program and you can see we have the exact same output with this tag as well fine another tag we have in html for formatting is the mark tag now the mark tag in html is used to mark any particular text the text will be highlighted with yellow color for example let's say we are writing something over here or we can just paste this again and we are going to remove this part now we want to mark the word coffee let's say so what we are going to do is we are going to write here mark 
this is the tag and inside this tag we are going to write coffee let's say fine save the program and you can see it over here we have this sentence which says i would like to have a cup of coffee and coffee is highlighted over here right so this is the mark tag and we can use this tag for formatting now the last tag we are going to discuss in today's video is the font tag the font is an inline element used to change font sizes font colors and font styles of the text in our web page this element has its own attributes so the three attributes we can use are size color and face fine size is used to change the font size of the text we can write values between 1 and 7 with 1 being the smallest and 7 being the largest font exactly opposite to the heading tag so you can learn it that way color refers to the font color we can simply write the name of the color or we can use the hexadecimal values for colors the hexadecimal numbers are specified according to the rgb value for each color the last thing we have is face face refers to the font style the default html font is times new roman we can use any font style of our choice using this attribute so let's use this tag over here and you guys will understand it much better i guess so what we'll do is we'll write here let's say we are using a paragraph tag so we'll write something over here let's say i prefer now we are going to use the font tag over here so this is a tag you can see it in red color now we have three different attributes right so the first attribute we have is size so we'll write here inside size let's say the size of this font is 4 then we have color so color defines the font color so let's say the font color we want is red and then we have the face so let's say we want the font style to be verdana and we'll write something over here let's say we are writing this over red fine now save the program and you can see it over here it says i prefer red fine so let's complete this sentence what we are going to do is we are going to write something after this font tag as well so let's say we are writing over here red over blue save the program and you can see it over here that we have this particular sentence which says i prefer red over blue so let me increase the size of vs code so that you guys can see it clearly so here you can see we have this paragraph tag then we have written inside it i prefer and we have kept this red word inside a particular element font element basically this font element has three different attributes size color and face now let's change the size of this to six for now and we'll check the output save the program and you can see red over here is quite large in size right it looks different so i hope you guys got this Formatting an HTML document is mostly done using CSS, but now HTML also allows us to format our documents using different tags. Basic formatting we can say. So formatting is making the web page more appealing using these particular tags. So the list of formatting tags present in HTML is quite long. We can't discuss all of them here, but if we use any of those tags in the upcoming videos, then surely we'll discuss them over there only. Now the task for you guys is to use these formatting tags and let us know if you find any difficulty in using them. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through phrase tags. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help you. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply cool. Thank you.